Hey, it's Nikki. Before we start the show, I wanted to invite you to download a free resource that I put together for you as the listener. This is my gift to you. You can get it right now. It is the 17 buying signals. Now I wrote a whole book about buying signals and I wanted to put it into a really simple format that you can have at your fingertips or in front of you whenever you want to. So I took out the 17 buying signals from the book, put them on a simple PDF, also gave you the kind of what to do when you you get a buying signal and explain what a buying signal is. So that PDF is available for you as a listener to go and download right now by going to yoursalesmaven.com forward slash one seven. That's yoursalesmaven.com forward slash one seven so that you can start acting on these buying signals and closing more business. All right, when you're ready, let's start the show. Do sales conversations make you feel awkward or pushy? It's time to ditch the outdated salesy strategies. Your guide, Nikki Roush, will show you how to combine kindness with selling skills to meet your prospects where they are, and in the process, how to up-level your influence and income. Learn how to earn business easily and effortlessly. Here's Nikki. Welcome, and thank you for listening to The Sales Maven Show. I'm your host, Nikki Roush. I'm your own personal sales maven here to offer you tips, techniques, and strategies to master your sales conversation. Today is a solo episode, and I'm going to be talking about top-down selling. Before I get into that, I just want to thank those of you who are consistent listeners. Thank you so much. Those of you who reach out to me on social media and share your feedback about the episodes, it's super thrilling to read. So thank you for those. And for those of you who take the time to rate and review the podcast, I'm so grateful. And if you haven't done that yet, would you please consider doing it? It means the world to me and it helps other people find their way to the podcast. So thank you so much. All right, this is going to be a quick episode today to get into the whole idea of top-down selling. It's something that I feel like if I had a dollar for every time I talked about it, I feel like, man, my business would be rocking (laughs) because it's something that comes up a lot and I get a lot of pushback on it. So what does top-down selling mean? Top-down selling means that you, let's say you have three options. So for me, I have a VIP program And in the VIP program, there are three options. There is just the day with me. There is a three-month program for VIPs. And then there's a six-month program for VIPs. So top-down selling means that I'm going to list my most expensive of those three options first on my website or on any kind of marketing brochure. And then the next least expensive, and then the least expensive. So top down selling, okay? Now, when I'm in conversation with somebody, when I'm talking to a prospective client, and we're talking about ways to work together, and if they're talking about the VIP program, what I would say is there are three VIP options. They range in price between, and then I would give a range in price. So the range in price for me is between 4,000 and 10,000. And then I start at the top when I explain what is the most expensive option? So I would say, so a VIP program can range anywhere from $4,000 up to $10,000. In the $10,000 package, here's what you get. In the step down pack, you know, like in the, you know, the mid tier package, here's what you get. And in the starter package, this is what you receive. Okay. So it's top down selling. <laughs> now, the other reason I brought this up is because I do a lot of reviews of clients messaging, their promotions, their sales pages. And they love to show me sales pages with the grid. The the dreaded grid is what I want to call it. The dreaded grid where they have all their offers lined up in this grid of like, okay, this product comes with all of these features compared to like A, B, and C laid out like on a spreadsheet essentially. (laughs) Now, here's why I don't love this option for you is because one, it's kind of overwhelming most of the time to read, or there's such a lack of information in that grid because you only have this tiny little like box on your website to work with that you're inserting information about the program. And I think you're missing a huge opportunity. So I often tell my clients when they show up and want me to look at this big, beautiful grid that they built and they're so proud of, and I understand why you're proud of it. 
And then I asked them, can you put this in a top-down selling format? And instead of putting it in a grid, you can just list, you know, offer A, which is the most expensive. And then underneath that offer B and what's included mid-tier. And then below that is the starter package. That's that entry level point and whatever that offer is. Okay. So top-down selling. Now, the reason this is so crucial is the way people perceive information. The reason you want to start at the top and work your way down is because as humans, we do not like to have things taken away. I'm sure I've shared this on the podcast before, but we don't like to have things taken away. And as a matter of fact, now you can't see me on uh, those of you who are listening to the podcast, but I am doing a video recording of this so you can see. But I usually, when I teach this, I tell, I ask clients, you know, if you're in a safe place where you can do this, put your palms up, just facing out, just like palms facing up, sorry, not facing out, palms facing up just away from you and just let your hands relax. Like have your hands be totally relaxed. Notice how your fingers tend to kind of curl towards you a little bit. Like a a relaxed hand is not like a straight, you know, your fingers are all straight. A relaxed hand, there's usually a curve to your hand. Babies come out of the womb already knowing how to grasp things. As humans, we like to grasp things. We like to hold on to things. This can become a problem for some of us in life, right? We tend to hold on to things. So when you're putting an offer in front of somebody, the reason you want to put the most expensive offer first is because when you start moving your way down the pricing structure, things start getting taken away. And we don't like to have things taken away. So the client, the prospect is so much more likely to then choose the option that is the best fit for them versus always going for the least expensive option, which may not actually satisfy their need. So it's it's much harder to try to sell somebody on a least expensive option and then convince them to pay more to get more. This is why you start at the top and you work your way down top-down selling. It makes sense to our brains. It's easier for us to like digest and it's easier for the client or prospect to pick the best solution for them. Most of the time they'll pick the like mid solution or they'll pick your top tier. You'll find that if you're only selling your like entry-level package all the time, it's probably because you're presenting it as uh I guess I would say down to up selling. I don't know, I'm trying to like least expensive to most expensive selling. There, I don't know if there's a term for it. I just don't, I know top down selling, but now I'm like, hmm, what would you call it? If it was always starting at the bottom and working your way up, which is how most people do it. Even my clients in the Sales Maven Society send me emails to edit where they have put this in there. They know about top-down selling and when they write it out, they always write least expensive to most expensive. That's how they tear things out. And I really want to encourage you to switch it around. Now, hopefully to put your mind at ease just a little bit, (laughs) I personally don't think it's going to cost you a deal if somebody sees the most expensive option and then another one that's a little less expensive and then another one that's a little less expensive after that. That's if you're offering up to three options. If you only have two, that's fine too. You're still going to put the most expensive first in your email communication, in your marketing communication, on your sales page. And when you're explaining it to somebody in a live call, you're still going to, you could give a range. Like I said, you could start at the bottom, go to the top, and then explain what they get at the top. And then the things that they give up as you move down in pricing. And you will find that more often than not, people are going to pick a higher level product from you because that's going to be the best fit for their needs. This isn't about trying to manipulate anybody. It's just making it easy for them to choose. So super crucial. I hope you take this to heart. I hope you're willing to give it a try and see what happens. I had mentioned that I don't think it's going to actually cost anybody to like go away when they see you have this really expensive option. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll say, well, I don't think I need the most expensive option, but I definitely don't want the starter pack. So I'll pick the middle choice. You'll find that that works really well. 
the the higher price will be an anchor and then we'll move move them into the next tier down but oftentimes when i do top down selling people often pick my least or my most expensive package that's just kind of the nature of it because they get everything they don't want to give anything up and they're willing to pay a little bit more to get everything versus somebody being willing to pay more to get more I know it's the same thing. I get it. It's the way you position it. It all matters. It all counts. Top down selling. All right. I hope this was helpful. Give it a try. Let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm always delighted to hear those of you who are trying things out and implementing things into your business. This is one I hope you will. Now, if you've been listening to the podcast for 2022, you know that it's the year of connection. So I've been sharing some of my favorite trusted um, colleagues and people who I just think are absolutely amazing. And I have another one to share with you today. Today's uh, year of connection is a shout out to Susan Grant of Color Envy Design. Susan is a paint color specialist, a 3D render artist and decorator. This means that she works with people around, I think the US, but maybe even the globe (laughs) because she can 3D render your room whether she's in the room with you or not. So I love that she does this. I know she just worked with one of my clients recently. Uh, Susan is in Long Island, I think. And my client was in Chicago. And it was fun to see this project they worked on together. But just to give you a little bit background about Susan um, and Color Envy Design specifically, is uh, this is from her website. Bus- busy parents and professionals hire her to implement an approachable strategy for their interior paint color selection and decorating projects. Utilizing color science and cutting edge technology, she collaborates with clients to create amazing home transformations that are convenient and cost effective. You can find information by going to colorenvydesign.com. You can also follow her. I think the stuff that she puts on Instagram is amazing. So you can go check out her Instagram and you'll see that she does these things where she'll take a color that you think this is the color. And then she will show you all these colors matched behind it. And you'll see how it changes the color. This is where she brings her really high level of expertise in regards to color. Like um, I was just watching a show recently and this woman picked her paint color based on the name. And all I thought was, oh my gosh, if my friend Susan saw that, she would be like beside herself (laughs) because not all colors work in the space and turn out the color you think they're going to be based on sunlight. I'm acting like I know. I don't know. Go get your expertise from Susan. She's amazing. (laughs) All right. If we haven't connected yet, I'd love to connect with you. Please reach out to me. You can find me on social media under Sales Maven. You can find me. I tend to hang out on Instagram and LinkedIn. Those are my two places. So I'd love to connect with you there. There's also the Sales Maven Society, which is my group coaching program. If you haven't joined us yet, what are you waiting for? What's what's stopping you? I'd love to hear. Would love to have you come join us. Uh, That's where you get coaching from me in live events and in the Facebook group. So come hang out with us and we'll, we'll get you all set up on building your confidence around sales. All right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for listening to Sales Maven. Visit us online at yoursalesmaven.com slash maven for more resources to boost your confidence and skills.